Things don't have to be this way, they can be better. Let's talk about Godot. Godot is lightweight and it's really fast to develop in. It's so lightweight that it can run in a web browser. GDScript is an absolute dream to work with in comparison to languages like C Sharp and C++, but you can still use those languages if you really wanted to. Maybe you want some performance, maybe you just prefer those languages. You can do what you want. You could even mix and match the languages for different purposes in the same project. Godot is completely free and open source. You could download and modify the engine for your own needs if you really wanted to. The development team behind Godot is incredible. They're really transparent, they're telling us what they're up to at all times, and they're ethical. The 3D rendering is good, and it's going to get even better with Godot 4 around the corner. Chances are it's good enough for what you want to do, unless you're a really talented visual artist that wants to make a really high definition game. In that case, maybe check out Unreal. As a side note, if you're new to development, don't go to Unreal just because it has all these crazy features and it looks really cool. Chances are you're not going to need to use any of it especially if you're working by yourself. Now, if you want to make a 2D game, Godot is a great choice for this. It's way easier to deal with than Unity. There's not that weird dynamic where you're creating a game in 2D, but you're also kind of working in 3D at the same time. Plus, there's not 69 different rendering pipelines that all have different conflicting options. The node system in Godot is really good. It can do everything that prefabs can do and more. It's just a joy to work with. All of the resource and scene files in Godot are human readable, which means that version control is a lot easier to deal with. To me, Godot is not a game engine, it is a movement about making game development fun again. I want to tell you a little bit about my experience switching from Unity to Godot. When I first started to learn game development, I started with Unity like so many people do. I already had programming experience, so really I was just messing around with the engine and seeing what it can do. I ended up spending months sort of experimenting with the engine and semi working on a project at the same time, but by the end of it I never really had anything playable. As a change of pace I decided to try out Godot for a game jam. So in two weeks I built a project called Spring and Fall with no prior experience in Godot whatsoever. During that process I didn't feel like I was fighting the software like I felt sometimes with Unity. It felt like we were on the same team. I'll give you a good example. Let's say you want to implement a timer. After three seconds, do something. Now, you might start by Googling it for Unity. How, how, do, how, do, I, how do I do this? How do I make a timer? And you'll find some stuff about scripts that you can write to make a timer work. And you'll copy and paste that into your project and there you go. But this feels really messy. Here is how it works in Godot. I want to add a timer to an object, so I add a timer. I set a duration, I set whether it happens once, and I set whether it starts automatically. And then I can connect the timeout signal to whatever function I want. When I go back to this node a while later, I can immediately see that there's a timer. Working in Godot doesn't feel like work, it feels like play. Now, I could continue on about all of the cool features in Godot, but I think I'll leave that for another video. For now, I just want to encourage you to give it a shot. Try it out for one week. I promise you, you won't regret it.